Hello, my name is Michael and this is another one of my helmets. Um, depending on your point of view, it's either a, a Solberg helmet, an Isora helmet, a Finnish M17 or Russian M16. Um, these were produced uh, right about 1916 onwards, initially by the Russians um, as a consequence of them not being too happy with the French Asian helmets that were given to them during the First World War. Um, it has a similar shape and profile to the French Adrian, um, but it's made from one piece of slightly thicker metal and it's got a small sort of cone star on top. Um, they were produced initially within Russia in Isora, uh, but it was very quickly moved to what was then still a part of Russia, a, du a Grand Duchy of Russia called Finland, which is now an independent country in its own right, um, where it was then moved to the Solberg factory and lots and lots of these were produced. Um, there's a very, very good book on Russian helmets by a guy called Robert Clawson, and in it he details practically every Russian helmet known has been produced. Um, at the moment there's a bit of a debate in the forums about whether he got some of the information right or wrong regarding this particular helmet um, which he is convinced is a Russian M16 but to which most people these days now believe is actually a Finnish M17. Um, I'll tell you for why. He believed that the, the star on top if it had the outward points tended to be a Russian made model and if it had sort of inward sections on this top section that it was Finnish and also there was some suggestion that the shape of the bowl was a little bit different between the Russian and the Finnish but that could have just been the actual factories themselves, the, you know, the machine at the factories. Um, the Russians in the early days preferred to use a stocking type liner which I've got in this SSH-36 because um, it's a lot cheaper to produce and easier to produce than leather liners are and obviously Russia being at that time a very poor country uh, would have struggled with leather liners. So with this particular model this has got a reindeer liner so good old Rudolf ended up inside a Finnish helmet so I'm pretty certain that this is a Finnish M17 as opposed to a Russian M16 and it probably was made at the Solberg factory. Um, the liner and the strap are original to it, they've never been touched. Um, it has got black paint on the inside which again suggests that it was probably Finnish rather than Russian and I've just cheekily temporarily stuck a, an Imperial Russian badge on the front of it um, for no particular reason. Um, so Another very interesting helmet, fairly rare, I mean they do come up maybe once or twice a year on eBay, um, around about the £110, £120 mark. Um, probably most of the ones you see will be Russian, uh, will be Finnish rather, not Russian. Um, but if you can find one that's got a stocking liner, it's more than likely to be Russian and, and that I'd imagine would be more expensive. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.